Hi, Year 5. So um, this is our maths video and um, we're going to be doing our last bit of work on converting between different metric units. And we have talked about so far uh, converting between uh, kilometres and metres and metres and centimetres. OK, uh, and, and centimetres and millimetres. And we have used multiplying by 1000, multiplying by 100, multiplying by 10. And we learned our skills for doing that. And we learned that to multiply by 10, we had to move our digits one place to the left. To multiply by 100, we moved our digits two places to the left. And to multiply by 1,000, we multiplied, uh, we moved our digits three places to, left, to the left. And the big clue was how many zeros came after the one, okay? And when we did, we used decimals, we made very, very sure that we kept our decimal point still in the same place. We didn't move it around, we kept it there. We moved the digits either side of it. Now today, before we look at um, grams and kilograms and uh, milliliters and liters, which will be tomorrow, we're going to look at, instead of multiplying, we're going to be dividing, okay? Now, when you multiply something, it gets bigger. When you're dividing, it gets smaller. So we're going to be moving our digits from tens to ones because that will make them smaller. From hundreds to tens, from thousands to hundreds. So they're going to be moving from the for right, not left. If they, get, if they move left, they get bigger. If they move right, they get smaller. Okay, so we're going to be making them smaller. We're going to be dividing by 10, by 100, and by 1,000. Okay, so let's have a look at our learning objective straight away. And here we are. We've got some something very useful here from um, Icarus, not Icarus, Atia. Thank you, Atia, for making these so that I could show everybody. So our maths home learning on the 11th, that's what you get for using the date off another sheet. It's not the work off another sheet, it's just the date off another sheet. Uh, it's on the 11th of February. Uh, 2021. Okay. Um, we are going to be dividing numbers by 10, 100, and 1,000. We've got quite a few success criteria, and these are on your sheet. This is what you will get. Number one, we will make, we will make uh, some digit cards. And if you can see here, these are digit cards that um, Atia has made. And to make digit cards, all you need to do is get a piece of paper, just any piece of paper like this, just an A4 piece of paper, um, or anything that you can write on, cut it into strips, and then cut your strips into squares like that. Okay, so you've got lots of little, nice, neat little squares okay, of paper. And then on your squares of paper, you need to write the digits. So if I start off and I'll show you each one as I do it, that one is now number one. And this one is now number two. And this one is number, where can you see it? There, three. I'm not sure if those are backwards for you, because I'm looking at my screen and sometimes that turns things around and makes them backwards for you. So I'm sorry if they're backwards. Um, and another thing you need to do is make a decimal point. That's really, really important that you have a decimal point, okay? And you also need quite a few zeros because we use quite a few zeros when we're multiplying and dividing by 10, 100, and 1,000, okay? So make quite a few zeros, okay? You might find you need more than one of each of the digits. Well, just make yourself another one if you do, 
Okay, so they're not complicated. So number one is make some digit cards like Atia did. These are lovely, neat ones, by the way, Atia, well done. The next thing you do is you place digits in the right, correct place on a place value chart. So you need to make a place value chart. There's mine. I've got a piece of paper. I drew a line across the top and then down the middle, I put my decimal point. I do a line down the middle and put a decimal point on it. A nice big one so you can see it, okay? And then I split the place value line into sections and I put in it ones, tens, hundreds, tenths, look at my tenths, hundreds and thousands. Okay, so there we're getting tiny, tinier and really, really tiny. Those are ones, those are tens, those are hundreds, okay? So you need to make those things. We're not in school, we haven't got them. You need to make them. Now I've got a board here, so I'm gonna stick it on with some sellotape, then you can see it. All right, Mrs. Pilkington bought me a board. I'm hoping that this works without um, needing any um, blue tack because I haven't got blue tack. Okay, so that's the next thing you need to do. Um, you need to remember, so first thing, put the uh, digits in the right place on your place value chart. Move the digits to the right because they are being divided. They are getting smaller. So they need to go to the right, okay? Uh, understand that the number should be smaller after dividing. Move the digits one place to the right if you're dividing by 10. Two places to the right if you're dividing by 100. And three places to the right to divide by 1,000. Look at the number of zeros. It matches the number of places that you need to move the digits, okay? And lastly, use place value holders. That's a zero. That's what a place value holder is where necessary. That means when you need to. Okay, so I'm just underneath here. I was just going to make your chart for you, but I thought I'll do my video nice and quickly first. So let me show you my place value chart. So. I'm going to start off by, let's see, I'll do, let me find myself a nice pen. I'll do um, 63 divided by 10. Okay, to start off with. Let's do 63 divided by 10. Now I'm leaping straight into decimals here. I will get decimals, okay? So I'm not sure which is my six and which is my nine because six and nine look very similar. And if this, there we go, it sticks, wonderful. These are magnetic. Okay, so 60 and three, that is 63. Remember one of our success criteria was to put, I don't know why I'm still sharing here. There we are, to put the digits in the right place to start off with. So here they are in the right place, 63, Divided by 10, I've put my place value digits in the right place, okay? When I divide by 10, I move them to the right, okay? And I move them one place. The clue is in the number of zeros. So I am going to move them one place to the right. And you have to physically do it on your place value board. Don't try and do it without a place value board because uh, you need to keep your digit, your, your uh, decimal points still, okay? If you haven't got a, a place value chart and you are using a decimal, that's a three, a decimal point, keep it still, okay? But I want you to draw out your place value chart. Then you can see your headings, okay? So I've moved both of my digits one place along and I've made 6.3, okay? This is not difficult. 
just because it's got decimal places in it, it is not difficult, okay? So that's a really basic one. Uh, let's try, uh, let's do, what shall we do here? I'm just making up my mind about things here. Let's do, because I haven't done your, I haven't done your sheet yet. So your sheet could be anything. Let's do 720 divided by 10. So I'm going to do 700. And again, I should have checked whether I've got these digits, because if I haven't, I can't do it, 720. Okay, now first thing was, I have to make sure that my um, digits are in the right place. They are. Okay, seven hundreds, two tens, no ones. Okay, I'm dividing it by 10. I look how many zeros are. That's my hint. I'm going to make it smaller because it's divide. So I'm going to go to the right. Okay, so off we go. One, two, three. Can you see what number I've made there? I've made 72. And when we make 72, we don't say 72.0. We don't say point anything. We just say 72. In that case, we can leave that off because we know we just say 72. It is not wrong to leave it on. If you leave it on, I will not mark it wrong. Okay, it's just that you don't need it there. All right, so leave it on. That's fine. Okay, I, don't, I won't worry about that at all. Um, okay, so now then let's see um, if we do something that's going to be a little bit smaller. Uh, let's have a whiz round. It's boring to use the same digits all the time. So I'm going to use 90.4. There we go. And I'm going to divide that by 10. See if I've got room to write it. 90.4 divided by 10. Okay, so have I got my uh, digits in the right place? Nine tens, no ones, four tenths. Yes, I have. Well done, Miss Cooper. Okay, so I'm going to move each of the digits one place to the right like that. Okay. What is that right? Is that the right way up? Yes, it is. Okay. What I must not do is think, oh, that zero has moved the other side of the decimal point now. So I, Ms. Cooper said I could get rid of it. I don't need it. You do need it because what you've made now is 9.4. And that wasn't the answer. If we move all our digits back again, ow, don't drop. Oh, don't drop on the floor. Uh, found it. Okay, so let's move them again. One place, one place, one place. Okay, I've made 9.04, nine ones, no tenths, four hundredths. I have not made 9.4. I need to keep that zero in there, okay? Like that, all right? Okay, so keep it in there if there's a number after it. So what do I do if I'm multiplying by 100? Okay, let's have a look. Let's do some that are dividing by 100. Uh, pick a number. Let's have a 7 divided by 100. Okay. The clue is in the number of zeros, always. Okay. I need to put 7 on. Seven is seven ones, like that, okay? So I'm going to move it to make it smaller. If I move it to the left, it will make it bigger. So I move it to the right to make it smaller because I am dividing. I'm going to move it two places because I'm dividing by 100. So off we go, one, two. Now then, what's the problem? Can you write that number down? Is it seven? Am I just going to write seven down because that's the only digit on here? No, I'm not going to write just seven down because it's not just seven. I need a place value in here. I need a place value holder in here, okay? What do I need in here? 
Can I leave this blank? Can I write as my answer 0 0.07? Can I just write 0 0.07? I know I had seven tenths when I moved seven down. I moved it one, two places. I saw that I had to put in a place value holder, which was one of our success criteria. And I need to put that in to show that there are no tenths. I must put that in, okay? Do I need anything in there? Yes, I do. I do need something in there. I need a zero, okay? So have I got a zero? No. Am I going to have to make one very quickly? No, because I haven't got another piece of paper. So, oh yes, I have, yes, I have. Here we go, here we go, here we go. There, not very impressive, <laughs> but there you go. Because I need it magnetic, you see, or else it doesn't stay on, but I'm gonna have to hold it on. I need a zero there. I cannot just write 0 0.7, 07. You just don't do that. You put the zero in to show that there's no ones, no tens and no hundreds. It's not just that you've forgotten them. There's 0 0.07. You never just have point. Uh, it might be that somebody decided that it was very easy to think that that point there was just a dot, a random dot. But if you put 0 0.07, it's obvious that, it, that it's a number and it's a decimal point. Okay, might be why. I don't know if it's why. OK, so uh, multiplying, uh, dividing by 100 is, uh, dividing by 100 is like that, moving it two places along. So what would happen if we had 800 and I've got, <laughs> I've got an E attached on the other side of that five. There we are. So anyway, I've got rid of it now. 80, 856 point seven oh wonderful big number lots of digits it's not difficult it's just the same we just have to move it two places use the zeros as the hint so 856.7 okay didn't leave myself enough space to make a very good seven there make a better seven there you go um so, uh, five, 800, not 500, 800, 800, and my 800 is determined to drop down. 856.7, and I'm going to divide it by 100. That is not hard. If you have made, and you must make, some digit cards and make yourself a place value chart, all you do is one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. How easy is that? But you can't get easier than that. You've made 8.567. You can't go wrong. You cannot go wrong. Okay, so that's that. Now then, if we divide by a thousand, I bet you're telling me already, you're telling me what to do. Don't add, Miss Cooper, that's what you don't do. Okay, I'm going to divide by a thousand. All right. Okay, so let's have 24. I'm going to get myself in a right pickle here because I haven't got enough zeros. So I know that straight away. So 24, I'm going to divide it by a thousand. So tell me. How many places do I need to move it? Three places. The hint, three zeros. Dividing, it's going to get smaller. You need to move it to the right. Every digit needs to get smaller. It is not going to go from tens to a hundreds. That's multiplying. We are dividing, okay? So each one is going to go three places. One, two, three. One, two, three, there we are. I've moved each one. What happens here? What happens here? Yeah, I need my place value holder. 
or else it looks like 0.24 and that's different. 0.24 is two tenths and four hundredths and it wasn't, they move right down there. So I must put something in my tenths there to keep that place. All right, don't forget to put that in. Do I leave it as 0 0.024? No, I don't. I need a zero in there, okay? I need a zero in there to keep that place, okay? To show that it's not just a smudge, it's just a, a random smudge. It is a decimal point. And I show that by putting zero. It also shows that there are no ones, no tens, no hundreds. Okay. So when you are dividing by a thousand, you move everything three paces along. Okay. And what about that one? Okay. Oh, no, not that one. I meant to pick up my two and I picked up my zero. There you go. What if I divide that by a thousand? You had one of these, but going the other way, you had this, but multiplying by a thousand. This is dividing by a thousand. So just little two on its own, it's little tiny two on its own. I'm gonna divide it by a thousand. It's going to get smaller and it's going to go one, two, three places. So here we go. One, two, three. Now then, this is the last one I'm going to do so I can write on my place value chart, okay? Um, I got an arrow in my face. Yes, I have. Never mind. Um, so I need a place value zero there. I need a place value zero there. And I need a place value zero here. Remember, I always have one. If there are no ones and no tens and no hundreds, I need a place value holder there, okay, to show that it's not just a smudge. I need a place value holder in the tens, one in the hundreds. And there you are with your two in the thousands. If you've made a place value chart and you've made your digit cards like Atia did, and you are moving these things along, you can't go wrong. If you try and do it without making those things, then you are likely to make mistakes and miss out your zeros and, and um, get the answers wrong. OK, so let's just go back to our success criteria and we'll share the screen and we'll go back. So what your success criteria are, make digit cards and a place value chart. OK, do it. Don't be lazy. Um, place the digits in the correct place on the place value chart. Look carefully at what you've got to do. Move the digits to the right because the operation is to divide. Understand that the number should be smaller after dividing. If it's bigger, you've gone the wrong way. Move the digits one place to divide by 10, two places to the right to divide by 100, and three places to the right to divide by 1,000. Use place value holders where necessary. That last one is perhaps the hardest one. OK, so concentrate on that. So I'm going to do a little bit like we did with multiplying by 10. I'm going to do uh, three grids, three uh, tables. The first one will be dividing by 10. So you've got to divide all the numbers by 10. The second one will be dividing by 100. And the next one will be dividing by 1,000. OK, and I'm not going to give you any more hints on the sheet than I've given you at the top in your success criteria. You will just get the three grids you need to draw the grids out. You've done that beautifully over the last couple of days. You really, you've got rulers from somewhere, I don't know from where, well done. And you've drawn the grids out beautifully for me. So carry on doing that please. And let's get some really accurate answers in our maths. Okay, thank you.